training like a Cobra Kai student for four days. It is your main 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 attack, and let's hop into it. By the time this video comes out, season five of Cobra Kai should already be out. But when it was being made, there were still only four seasons. So each day represents a typical day of training from each season of Cobra Kai, roughly based on estimates, because we don't see them train all the time. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So for the first day of Cobra Kai training, I decided to start off with an exercise that had been introduced very early on to Miguel by Johnny, and it's been a bread and butter of Cobra Kai training since the first Karate Kid movie. Come on, give me 50 push-ups on your knuckles. Uh, okay. The next exercise was also introduced early on to Miguel and other members of Cobra Kai. Just do some crunches. Yeah. Don't you have gym class or something? Another big deal for Cobra Kai training for beginners has been jogging, so that was next on the list. Fight, which is everything that happens after you make contact. So I'm just going to take you guys on a quick journey right now. And we're here. Welcome to my dojo. So the next training exercise was linked to kicking. Your first instinct is to use your hands, right? You gotta unlearn that. And think with your legs. Unfortunately, for medical reasons, I couldn't actually swim that day, so I had to do something else and get inventive. That was so hard on like my hands and on my arms because I did all those push-ups from earlier and I had to physically support my own body weight so it kind of it was really tiring on that part so that really wasn't very fun and it wore me out a bit so if you guys feel a sympathy for me for all of the pain and the hard work I've been through today please leave a like on this video I'd really appreciate that and it'd help me to to round off day one's training, I decided to do the pitching machine exercise. However, I don't have a pitching machine, so my best substitute was just to throw a load of tennis balls and punch them, or kick them. So can you guess what I did at the start of the second day? Over. Diaz Hawk, 50 push-ups on your knuckles. And I also did some crunches because it seems like push-ups and crunches are still a big deal in Cobra Kai Season 2 training, so it would be a shame to leave them out. I think my knuckles are broken now.
The next exercise was circuit training, just like how in Season 2, when Johnny punished all of Cobra Kai's students to try and find out who trashed the Miyagi Dojo. Cobra Kai has its fair share of fight scenes, but since I'm not trying to advocate violence and I have no friends who are willing to spar with me, I had to come up with another solution, which was to spar in front of a mirror against myself. So we've established that my fighting technique sucks, but there's one more thing I want to get done this day, and that was to do some equipment training since they do it in season two. So I decided to start the day off with some stretching since it's a fundamental part of any exercise and they definitely do it in Cobra Kai. Since Kreese takes over in season 3 and the first thing they do is standing punches, I thought that's what I would do. In season 3, Chris tests the students to see who objects to feeding a hamster to a snake, and Bert and a lot of students who object are kicked out of Cobra Kai. I don't have a snake, but I do have another reptile that I am going to feed to prove that I am a true Cobra who does not feel any sympathy for its meals. It's ridiculous that I've been training like a karate dojo student and I've not yet practiced any or learned any karate moves. And since the style of karate that's taught to Cobra Kai students is Tang Soo Do, I decided to watch some video tutorials on some basic beginner Tang Soo Do moves and I was going to practice them so I can actually learn some of what Cobra Kai should be learning. After I'd learned, or rather butchered those Tang Zudo moves, I decided to put it into practice in another mirror sparring match. After all, there still are a lot of fight scenes in Cobra Kai, so I gotta keep up with the fighting. It was the final day of training I decided that I was going to add some more moves to my repertoire. However, before I did that, I decided to practice the moves I practiced yesterday because I'd just done them terribly and I wanted to get better at the overall technique of Tang Zudo. Next up, I thought it was time for me to do some weightlifting or some bench press, so I need to get a bar. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I decided to learn some Miyagi-Do moves, just like how Robbie taught in Season 4. So I think it was Wax On, Wax Off. After this, I want to practice the kicking move in season four when Terry Silver was talking the students through the three Ds. And just like that, training was almost over. All that was left to do now was practice some more Tang Su I learned a couple more moves, but I can't remember what they were called, but you'll see them anywhere in the time lapse, hopefully. <laughs> Kind of nicely round off the video, I'm going to attempt to try and put together a few highlights of today or the four days of the Cobra Kai training. And that is going to wrap up for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to drop us a like down below. It took me a lot of effort and a lot of time to make this video, so I'd really appreciate your support. Let me know if you've watched Cobra Kai Season 5 and enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, pretty tired, but I get to rest now. And finally, this video will be out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Thought it was a mistake, but I did it on purpose. Will tell you the truth, but you make me nervous. Don't know what I did to make you think I deserve this. Not telling me straight, you played it tactical You're toxic, dark and magical Everything you said was capable Think I'm lying, been justifying your lies